The Tech Temple. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Wise Man White at the Tech Temple. I think we check out another video. This one to go over something in the material design uh, UI that Android presented over Google I.O., which was last week. And in addition to uh, they showed the Android L, which is going to be, I believe it's probably just a code name for the new version of Android that's going to be released. Right now, the developer preview is out, so you can get that. Um, they focused on increased efficiency, so getting more battery out of your uh, battery life out of your device, enhanced notifications, um, a new runtime. So instead of using Dalvik, though you'd be using Art, it's supposed to make the phone run faster and more efficient. And the new UI design, what they're calling the new UI design. Um, material theme. So there's certain actions like the transitions have been improved. When you press the button, you'll see uh, you'll get more of a visual cue that you press the button and then there's smoother transitions. Um, but the one thing I want to talk about are the colors in, in the first place. Um, they say material design, but when I hear material design and I saw it, I just thought of East, Easter colors. So if you think of Easter colors, it's pretty much what the material design is. And I want to show the material design off in one feature from uh, Android L developer preview. So I'm going to show you the keyboard. So you can't get the keyboard right now. Um, somebody pulled off, instead of you having to go on XCA and do everything, somebody just made an app um, and pulled it and made it an app called Android L Keyboards. So you can go ahead and download it. Um, so I'm going to show that off. So I'm going to compare that to the old keyboard. So let's just go ahead and make um, email real fast. So overall, I do like the default Android keyboard. So I've got swipe the text. Thank you for checking out this video. No, but Dan. Thank. There's two things that I do have a gripe with. Um, one thing is the prediction sometimes. So I just type thank you for checking out this video. If I type thank, and I hit thank, you would think you would show up as a suggestion after I type think, but as you can see, nothing is up right now. I even press spacebar, nothing's out. Um, so that's one problem I have. It'd be a lot easier if I could just hit thank you for checking out this video, like on Swift Key. Um, two, the keys are kind of small, and I wish the keys were larger, um, especially for people who like to peck. I think there's two people, swipers and peckers. I think it'd be a lot easier for people to peck, and you'd be more accurate if the keys were larger. Um, I got a Nokia Lumia right here from T-Mobile, and I just want to show you the keys on here. Uh, I really like this phone, by the way, if you're interested in checking on a Windows phone. Um, so look at these keys on the Windows keyboard, and look at the keys on Android. Look how much taller the keys are on the Windows phone. It's so much easier to type on the Windows phone. Like Sometimes I don't even swipe, even though it has it. You know, Thank you for checking. Kind of hard to type with the left hand. But it's got swipe, and I, I like to peck more than I like to swipe on this one because the keys are taller and it's easier. It's harder to peck on these because the keys are so small. And I wish they would take the spaces in between the rows and just make them smaller and make the keys taller instead. So those are my um, two things that... Uh, my, my, gripe, my gripes. So let's see what they have on the new keyboard. So I'll go ahead and switch to the L keyboard. Um, L keyboard right there. Alright, so... I mean, right away, when I switched and I have the the cursor after the word thank, it already gave me suggestions. Goodness, God, or you. So let's hit you, are, not. And at least it's giving me suggestions. So that's nice. Thank you, Google, for implementing that. So there, there's my one gripe. That's gone. And overall, when I've been using this keyboard, I have noticed that the suggestions are just better in general. But as you can see right now, um, the, the color palette for the keyboard is, you know, pastel -y, like Easter colors, you know, the gray is kind of light, um, and you see the turquoisey blue, it's not really a bold color, it just kind of stands out from the gray. Uh, it's nice looking. Also, the keys aren't blocked off anymore, so you don't know if, I don't know, like, my gripe that I said the keys aren't tall enough, I don't know if they're not tall enough because they're, uh, they're not individualized, and my guess is that they're still the same height, it, because look at all the space between the letters, I think they're the same height. But, who knows. Um, one other thing that I don't like about this keyboard, though, the Android kind of took away and took steps back. So let's go back to the normal keyboard. 
So what I did like about this keyboard is when I wanted to do an exclamation point, I just held the Z because I had my thing on no delay, so it pops up right away. And exclamation point comes up right away. Question mark comes up right away. On the new keyboard, at least for the developer preview, where are they? I can make the top row has the numbers, but the bottom row doesn't have anything. So I want to say what? If I want to do exclamation point, I have to go to the second screen, then hit exclamation point. Or I have to wait after I press the dot, the period, and then press the question mark. So it's, it's to me that that takes extra step when I can just do what? And now I gotta do that as opposed to just what and hold the letter M and it pops up right away. Um, so I don't know why they take that away, especially because if a period's already here and I hold the period, why would a comma be the first option even though the commas are already on the left side? It's like re repetitive. At least make the question mark or the exclamation point be the number one. So as soon as I hold it and let go, it should be one of those. Um, other than that, the keyboard, I do like it. Hopefully they change that when the final version comes out. What is nice about this one is you can, it still has swipe the text. So, you know, thank you for checking out this video. So you can do that and... If you're really good, you can type that without lifting your, your hand once. You can just type a whole sentence without lifting your finger. Um, I'm not too good at it yet. Let's see. Thank you for checking out this video. That was probably way bad. Yeah, terrible. That was terrible. Kind of hard with the camera in the way. But as you can see, at least it puts spaces between the words. It knows that when you go down to the space bar, it wants you to start a new word. You want to start a new word. So just delete this. So why am I having trouble deleting that? I just delete everything actually. So what you want to do to do that is if you say welcome, W E L C O M E, you want to go to the next word, you go down to the space bar to space bar the space bar. It's kind of iffy, but you can do it. I mean, I haven't done it too much just because I haven't got that accurate with it, but it is an option, so it is pretty cool. Um, other than that, the, as you can see, the microphone it used to be a key down here. It's been moved to the top. So if you want to use Google Voice instead of typing, it works just fine. Period. So that works great. So that's the keyboard. You can download that right now. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot real quick. There's also the emoticons. So, you know, all the emoticons are here. And the way you get to that is if you just hold the, come on up, hold the enter button. They pop up and you can do whatever you want. You just like multiple before you go back to that keyboard. So that's nice that they are in there. Um, hopefully they you know, fix this whole no other options here. Like, you can't even make the at sign. If you want to do an email address, you have to go to the next screen and type the at sign. But other than that, um, the keyboard's pretty good. You can go get it in the Play Store right now. It's like I showed you before. It's uh, right there. Oops. Android L keyboard. It's free. Go ahead and check it out. I already got my review right there. Um, if you have any other questions, if you have any comments about this keyboard, or the last keyboard, um, anything you want me to test out, let me know. Um, I will be doing another video next on this Windows, because I really like this Windows phone. Um, so, thank you for checking out this video. This is Wise Man White, the Ted Temple. See you guys later. I got you walking on cloud nine. The Ted Temple. Yeah, your shoe collection now crowds mine. Uh, you only second to my first love. Ha, we'll just refer to her as Alpine. Alpina, the B7 on each heading. Like you riding in first class to reach heaven. Woo!